Thanks, Seth. We are about to connect to the spirit world with psychic medium Lisa Lano, and she is reading Debbie Chase. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Now, because of time constraints, I understand you talked to her a little bit, but all of the reading is going to be live on air. Yes. I don't know anything. Okay. Um, she sent me a photo, and this is for people who know me. They know that I get uh, connections like the night before. The spirits of the people who've crossed over will kind of tap me on the shoulder and let me know something. Um, and I don't plan it that way. It just happens. She sent me a photo, um, and there it is. And what I did was tune into the photo and asked her who Charlie was. And I don't usually get names, but uh, you said that's Dad. That's my dad, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you some of the validations. Okay. Um, so I know we can connect with him. All right, and I wrote these down because these were last night. Um, I immediately heard a coughing mm -hmm. and cancer. Now understand that we have to validate the negative to get to the positive so that we know that it's him. Okay, we know that he's okay now. All right. Okay. But the coughing and the cancer, does this make sense to you? Yep, okay. most definitely. The other thing, and I feel some of their emotions and their pains, um, only not to that degree. I feel a, a sense of not being able to breathe, that it's in the chest or lung area. Yeah. Correct, and you have lung cancer. Sense. Okay. Um, I also wrote down that, as sad as this sounds, I feel it was a blessing when he finally did pass. That's good. It's a blessing because That's he wasn't very comfortable. And he's mm -hmm. talking a lot about you and mom fussing over him in a different way. He's showing me mom's more like the nurse <laughs> doing the nursing <laughs> thing. And you're doing the dad, come on, dad, eat this. Happy me. <laughs> <laughs> dad, dad, try this, try that. Dad, do you want this? Are you comfortable? And it's kind of like, oh my goodness, she just fusses and fusses and fusses. He also brought, I, I know I'm skipping around, but he mentioned Michael. He said, I like Michael. Oh, well, that's my daughter's husband. Do, uh, yeah. Does he know him? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, he's funny. <laughs> this man is a riot. He's, he's a jokester. He's always laughing. Yep. Does it make sense? Yep. Okay. Um, oh, and he told me he was a softie with the girls, and I'm going to call you out right on TV. Or you're the instigator, he said. <laughs> yep. That would be me. <laughs> I could see the kids in the back of the car going someplace, and this one going, <laughs> starting the trouble. Like, Deborah? <laughs> Was that mom? Deborah? Yes, that would be my mother. <laughs> because he's just like, whatever, I don't want to say anything. Um, he's with somebody, I want to tell you, and this man is dark haired and younger. My brother? What and, and it's coming back the same as it did when I first felt this. I feel s sick to my stomach, lightheaded, and then down. And this is not dad, though. No, that would have been my brother. Okay. He wants me to tell you that he didn't know what was happening, that he just <clears throat> felt lightheaded and sick to his stomach. And I think he thought he had, like, food poisoning or something. Okay. But do we know how he passed? Oh, uh, heart, heart attack. Um, okay. So, because I, I see him on the floor. But we found him on the floor. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to, it's to okay. like I said, validate the negative. It's okay. But at least we know that they're here. They are together. They're always <laughs> together. They, that's good. <laughs> he wants me to tell you, Dad wants me to tell you that he was at the wedding. Oh. Daughter's wedding. She wedding. got married in Italy two years ago. And she was sad that her papa yeah. wasn't there. Okay. And he's handing, I think it's for mom, a white calla lily. Oh, my mother liked calla lilies. I think it's for Mother's Day. I think it's for Mother's Day that okay. he's doing. Do you have questions? Um, you can hit me on the spot. It's okay. Just, just anything to say to my mom for, for my ma, my pop. Okay, well, uh, we don't want to go into anything too personal sure. since this is television. Mm -hmm. um, but he knows that she is very sad. There's your tissues. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he knows that she's a little bit more sad than she lets on. But the family knows this. They're, he says she's not fooling anybody. <laughs> True. She's a giver. Mm -hmm. She's a caregiver. She always will be a caregiver. Um, and he wants to thank her for all the care that, I mean, I'm talking care. Like, she physically took care of this man and yep. stayed with him till the end. And very strong. She stayed very, very strong on the outside for him. She did. Very, very strong. But he knows, you know, he's sorry to have left her behind because I, I don't feel him very old. 
No, he was a he was a whooper snapper. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a smarty pants. <laughs> he was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, but he wasn't old when he passed away. No. Um, and that's why he's saying to her, "I'm sorry, I left you behind." It's <laughs> nice. But he also knows that she has a job to do. Uh, children, grandchildren. Oh, There's, that would be nice. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, her grandchildren. I'm not making any predictions here. <laughs> Thank you. That was for Ashley. <laughs> Um, okay, anything else you want to know? Um, just uh, my, my Hillary and Danny, if he has anything to say to them. Is that the wedding that he yep, was at? Hillary is my daughter and Danny is my son. Okay, your son. I'll see what he wants to talk because I feel like he wants to say something to him. Oh, with your son. Talk to Danny for me. Oh, he's a softy too, he said. <laughs> he's a mush, as he calls him. Yes. This guy's going to call me and say, what you say on air? <laughs> He's just a softie. He loves his mom. Loves. I, mean, I know your daughter does, from what I'm hearing, but this boy would go to the ends of the earth for you. And they are very protective of their mother, extremely protective. And I think that's why he likes Michael, because Michael is protective. Very much so. But yet she runs the show. True. Oh, my goodness. Very I, true. I hate to interrupt you guys. I'll let you continue talking. Obviously, okay. you've been very touched, Debbie. <laughs> oh, thank you. And thank you for being here. Thank with you us so really much for fun. having me. I'll let you continue talking to her, but we're going to go to a break really fast. Okay, thank you so much. Of course. And